The new year has brought a sharp increase in labor conflict. Public employee unions in Wisconsin and Ohio are battling Republicans in the legislature and the governor's office. In Providence, Rhode Island, the city has fired nearly 2,000 union teachers. Teachers united will never be defeated. Even the NFL is having trouble. Owners and players are at an impasse, meaning ESPN is on the labor beat. As the clock ticks toward pigskin Armageddon, Federal mediator George Cohn beckoned the owners back to the site of mediation. For a NPR's Don Gagne reports that these conflicts, taken together, highlight how the face of organized labor has changed. Unions remain a major player in American politics, pouring money and manpower into elections and other public policy debates. But labor's numbers have been shrinking for decades, and right now only about 12 percent of the U.S. workforce belongs to a union.